Surely you remember that skeleton video where I compared flash fill and Power Query's column by example, and column by example didn't do very well. Column by example has been made better. But let me tell you how I got the news. I went out one night to check my mail and I got abducted. I got grabbed and put in a truck. I was driven way out outside of Portland to a field where there was another truck. And I was grabbed and tossed out of one and grabbed and pulled into the other one. And that's where I met the Grand High Empress of Excel. The Grand High Empress of Excel is terrifying. She's only about five foot tall and yes, she exists. I met her and she says to me, Ooh, Mr. Smarty Pants, I saw your video. I was not pleased. So, we've brought you here to let you know we have improved Colin by example. So we trust you will go and tell all your friends about the new improved Colin by example. And don't take this as a request, Mr. Smarty Pants. And somebody opened the truck door, threw me out, and they told me Portland is that way. And I started walking. I'm going to show you a few things that are better about column by example. We've got these names, first name, last name. We've got some that are all lowercase, some all caps. We've got Dr. Stella Frost. We're going to do a few things with these names. First, we're going to use column by example to get the full names all in one cell. Here we go. Data from table slash range. Add column. Column from example, we want Judith Anselman. We want George Antwell, not Mr. George Antwell. We want Coral Marie Gibbons, not Lieutenant Coral Marie Gibbons. All right, here we go. It's done. Look at that. Nellie Chapman is right. Stella Frost. Astrid Ratliff Ken, everything is correct. Let's try a capital first name and then the last name. Wow, look at that. Emily Baldwin is right. Moses Hatter, Karen Jean Witherspoon, those are all correct. Now let's try to get just the initials. This is going to be a little tricky. Columns from example. Let's go. B A F. Mars Randolph, Gussie Dawes. We're there. It took some training, but we got there. All right, so let's click OK. That's what we wanted. And I'm going to close and load this to the workbook. Now let's do one other thing that's pretty interesting. We've got this data that we want to put into codes. We want to put the manufacturer, the part, a hyphen, and then the part type. But we want the number in the middle to always be four digits. So we see CW00. 77-M3. That's what we want to get. Can column by example do that? Here we go. Data from table slash range. Add column from examples. Start here. CW1180-M3. Let's go here. QD zero two four six dash K it looks good so far let's look a little deeper ZZB zero two zero two dash M three QD zero zero one six dash K 
QD1182-M3. That is what we wanted. Column by example figured it out. So column by example is a whole lot better. Now it can take some fiddling and then you do have to train it and give it more examples, but it's better than that last skeleton video. We're in much better shape. Okay, high Empress of Excel. Is this satisfactory? See y'all in the next video.